This is a really simple woodworking project and it fits any 4x4 post. The idea is simple enough. It works kind of like a bar clamp does where it can adjust up and down whenever it's perpendicular to the pole but as soon as a little bit of weight is added to it, it causes it to bind. I haven't really done a proper build video in a while, so let's do this. You'll be able to find a downloadable printable template in the description, and I'll try to keep this short and sweet. Let's go. If you follow the numbers that I'm using here, it will end up fitting most 7-inch pots, and I think that's a pretty well-balanced size for this project. On my pattern, I made these little tick marks using a utility knife, and there's three of them in the center of each of these parts. This is the part that requires the highest level of precision and accuracy, so be careful transferring them. Now we're going to take them and move them down to the center of the ply. This needle tool that I'm using is just a piece of sharpened coat hanger, and I'm just going to press it in to the centermost layer. For this part, it's very important that the deck is square on the drill press. Now I've ripped these instead of just tracing them out of whatever scrap because I want them to be square so that I can drill down the edge this way. On this side and this side it gets a 3 8 hole that's drilled about 3 8 of an inch deep. And on this one I'm just going to use an 8 inch pilot as deep as I can. I'm just going to hold the piece against this square as I drill. And I should also mention that I just made a video about squaring your drill press, so click here if you want to see that. If you look on the front and back ends, there are these two shear pin-like things. And all it is, is a piece of quarter inch inside diameter PEX tubing. I think this is a pretty effective method that has a lot of potential applications, because if you use a 3 8 inch Forstner bit, it makes a perfectly sized hole. and this can be used to make a lot of cool stuff. I'm holding these in with a galvanized screw, which of course you don't have to do, but the screw is smaller than the piece of PEX tubing, so it works nicely. Now, I didn't trace out this one yet, because sometimes misalignment causes there to be high spots, or because it, might, it may shift left or right a little bit, and so I'm pleased with my alignment put it on there temporarily, but I can go with it now, I believe. But I'll probably just trace on the opposite side this way, and that way I'll have a mated pair, and I can proceed with finishing this now. You can use just a coping saw to cut 
these parts out. <laughs> And then when you get tired of that, you can buy a jigsaw. And then, once you get tired of using that, you can buy a bandsaw. As for sanding the edges of 3 quarter inch plywood, convex surfaces are done on the disc sander. Concave surfaces require a drum sander, and I like to use various little detail sanding tools for all of those other weird places. I was only able to make this pilot hole for the screw about that deep and I still have about an inch to go but I'm just going to transfer the mark across and give it my best guess and if it's not perfectly exact when it connects that will be okay because I'm going to be boring it out with a countersink anyway that way the screw can sit all the way in Just because this is kind of a cool idea, I would like to briefly mention this. In this version, I used a screw to join the two halves together. And this thing is totally unrelated, but look how it fastens together. It uses this butterfly-like thing, and it keeps the two halves from falling apart. And I really thought a drop-in sort of butterfly key here in the middle would be great. But just for the sake of simplicity, I didn't use it. If you can find a way to implement that, then let me know in the comments down below. After priming it, I also gave it a coat of white enamel just to give it a little more water protection. I certainly hope you enjoyed this project. I think it's an easy one. And don't become discouraged because it seems like I'm using a lot of tools. There are usually always simpler alternatives available to you. So until next time, and I'm sorry to do this to you, but you can never unsee.